what's up youtube it's your girl deja welcoming you back to clockwise crypto where we bring you the latest crypto news and show you how to make money in the crypto space if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you're alerted every time i drop these money making videos monday through friday all right so on today's segment we're gonna talk about the war and what it's doing to the cryptocurrency market. All right, so stay tuned. So we're gonna talk about how this war has been what how it's been affecting the crypto market okay uh whether it's bitcoin ethereum and all the cryptocurrencies all right so bitcoin is now the greatest safe haven all right so the cryptocurrency market has finally started to behave like a safe haven with bitcoin and other digital tokens taken off Russia's invasion into Ukraine took a more dramatic turn earlier this week, leveling investors' fears up another notch about what the heck is going on over there. But it looks as if, though, those fears may be starting to go back down again. Thank God. <laughs> not sure if you guys know this or not, but crypto is playing a big role in the U Ukraine and Russia's war, where Russia's invasion is the first big test to topple gold as a safe haven. Ukraine is concerned that Putin will use the decentralized digital money to get around the penalties while Ukraine is using the platform to raise as much money needed to aid them. It's the first big test for crypto, which have universally been seen as riskier assets. Now, since conflict in Ukraine began, Bitcoin has been trading 17% higher. The war in Ukraine has been a major turning point for crypto as it plays as an important role during this time. The first big test for crypto is coming when Ukraine faces off against Russia. Now, Bitcoin has been up as it seeks refuge from an economy, the economic woes and international tension that could potentially be solved with decentralized digital money like cryptocurrency blockchain technology etc now ukraine is using the platforms to raise as much money needed and they have already raised over 55 million dollars so far okay so with cryptocurrency prices they're also going up we're seeing an increase in them on an upswing and one of the reasons why investors nationwide seem so excited about digital coins is because they see potential for growth. Now, Russia's current situation with cryptocurrency could, could very well have lasting implications in how this new form markets and how it associates risk. And are they going to be managed going forward? Now, Russia can't use crypto they can't use crypto exchanges to avoid sanctions from SWIFT but by the use of the blockchain technology they're able to track back the wallet locations due to the transparencies on the blockchain and with that they're able to restrict the control and flow of the assets in and out of all these centralized exchanges now, Ukraine is using this digital platform in the war, and the Ukrainian government has opened up their largest crypto exchanges to facilitate donations for the war effort. They are accepting funds in both Bitcoin and Ethereum, with 90% of the transactions going through digital uh, currency on this account alone. Now, all of the other funds go directly towards military effort. Now this will increase the transparency because we'll be able to see exactly where all those donations go and what wallets they end up in. It's a real life test case if anything is going to reaffirm the position that so many of us in the industry have held. It's the blockchain's utility and function for humans alongside what we already have with the fiat system, like the US dollar, the Aussie dollar, etc. 
it is a real testing case as we can see cryptocurrency so far is coming through exactly as expected now the crisis in russia leaves no doubt about where things are headed for digital currencies and that's good news because it means bitcoin and other tokens will only continue to go up now the future is bright for those who want to take back control of their money and the and the current and their currency now with bitcoin people around the world have been able to fight government oppression by using an encrypted a cryptic digital cash system that not only controls or regulate it's not regulated by just one entity with the rise of cryptocurrencies we're seeing these theories get put to test and so far it's looking good for the crypto market okay so let me know what you guys think do you guys think this war is a good impact or a bad impact on the crypto on the crypto market all right, leave a comment in the comment sections below and please go ahead and like this video and share it. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. And until next time, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Bye.